Yeah, hey guys. So, you know, it's Sunday morning when I should be at church, but events call, so I'm going to get my face all done up. <laughs> my beautiful client for today is Amoy. Hi, Amoy, and thank you again for making it iconic beauty. This is my fourth time doing Amoy's makeup. So, welcome or welcome back to another video if this is your first time watching one of my videos and if you enjoy the content don't forget to subscribe and give me a big thumbs up so first thing i did to amoya was apply the meron makeup skin prep so what this does it is basically like a skin toner or a primer and it definitely make your makeup last super super long um it has a matte finish so after that i went over with the becca primer ever primer so she was leaving clarinon to go to saint mary so i had to make sure that her makeup lasts from the drive from clarinon to saint mary and then going out through the entire program um i mean for the rest of the day that is Normally, I don't remember all of the things I use, but I just did her makeup like a couple hours ago. So I made sure I had all the names of the products that I used on her. So for her brows, I am using the LA Girl Brow Pomade and I'm using the Sona Casual Angled Brow and Spoolie Brush to apply that. Now I'm just concealing underneath her brows. So for the beginning of the brows, I'm going to use her foundation shade. And then I'm going to finish conceal the brows with the CoverGirl concealer in the shade bronze. I'm also going to bring that down further on her eyes. And I'm going to leave her lids. So for this eyebrow though, I brought it up a bit too far. But I'm going to correct it um, further down in the video. For her eye primer, I'm going to use the P. Louise base in the shade Rumor 2. And I think I stated this before in one of my videos that after I start using the P. Louise base, I realize how pigmented my eyeshadows come out now. Um, how vivid they are now instead of me just using a concealer i really really like how my eyeshadows look now since i've been using the p louise base so i would recommend if you are a makeup artist like go ahead and get one because it is really really good to set underneath her eyes i'm using the maybelline press powder in the shade 360 and for her eyeshadows they're from Juvia's Place as usual. Y'all know I love Juvia's Place palettes. 
so the first palette i'm going to go in with is the warrior 2 palette and i am using the shadow kufura which is the second shade in the palette a beautiful burgundy-ish brownish color and i'm going to only use two shades well actually i'm using three but i don't really count the third one but i actually use three but anyway i'm only going to use two shades in this palette from these palettes and this is going to be her transition shade as well so as you guys can see i just tap it in first and then i blend it out because if you tap too much like i i like to build my eyeshadows because i i hate when it's just too much on the eyes so i love to build and then blend i'm also going to carry this shade underneath her eyes too i saw this from a pro makeup artist on youtube and basically she says like it's good it's better to apply the eyeshadows underneath first before you apply the concealer and to me it is better because sometimes when you do your conceal and stuff and then the eyeshadow when you're ready to apply the eyeshadow underneath your eyes um the the it, the fallout like you have to be cleaning the fallout and that's just taking up time but in my last video i did foundation and then i did her eye look and it was still okay because I didn't do the concealer. So even though I had a little fallout on the foundation, it was all right. Because I did go in and I cleaned up the fallout. And then I went in with the concealer. So everything worked out. So I definitely agree to do that step before your concealer. Because sometimes we mess up. And we don't want to mess up. We have time working with. But for her eyeshadow on her lids i am using the saharan palette and the shade is fula which is a beautiful pinkish shimmer eyeshadow um i love the color on her fingernails so i decided to give her the same on her eyes you know so everything can kind of match up um yeah and then i'm going to go back in with my palette with the first eyeshadow that I use, and I'm just going to blend in the second eyeshadow, you know, so that we don't have any line of demarcation. Everything just blends in and smooths out and looks great. I wasn't really going for a cut crease, but somewhat off cut crease. So that's why I did that next step. Yes, so for her eyeliner, I'm using my favorite eyeliner and it is from sephora For her mascara, I'm using the brand from Essence. Also, I'm going to go in her waterline with my LA Girl eyeliner in the shade Black. And then because of the matte that we're having on her face, remember I use the Matron Skin Prep and also I use my Becca Primer. So she's like hella matte. So I'm going to go over that with my Milk Hydro Group primer and i'm just going to use a flat top brush from bs malls i'm just going to push that onto her skin so basically we're just toning down some of the matte that is going onto her face because me i love a radiant looking makeup i don't like matte makeup overall that's just my preference and so does my client but I said before I wanted her makeup to last because she gonna leave Clarendon to go all the way to St. Mary and then she's going to be there for hours because of the program. 
Yes, yeah, so we definitely want her makeup to last regardless. We don't want if you move, shift, budge, nothing. If you know Jamaica, you know Jamaica is hot. So, yeah, we wanted something to last on her skin. And that's why I went in with the three different primers. Didn't really have to. However, I just wanted to ensure that her face was set whenever she reached saint mary if you guys reach this far in this video don't forget to click that subscription button okay if you reach this far that means that you're enjoying the video so if you want to see more videos like this subscribe i am using a large eyeshadow brush from sonia cashew to apply the foundation first because i don't want to overdo it with the foundation because remember we have matte products and then the foundation is matte as well so yeah i use that brush to apply the foundation first and then i'm blending it out with a stippling foundation brush again from sonia cashew and yeah that's what i use to apply the foundation or oh, her foundation is from maybelline and it is in the shade 360. concealer that i applied it is the elf camo concealer and it is in the shade chestnut deep chestnut and then the second concealer that i used is from covergirl in the shade bronze and i'm using the same large eyeshadow brush from sonia cashew i'm just using that to blend it out so this is what i use on my client um in the last video and as I said before, these were her brushes, like these were brand new brushes that she bought, but she gave them to me and I'm like, thank you, girl. I appreciate it. Um, I, ever since, like, I can't stop using them because they're so nice. To further blend out the concealer, I'm using the 402 brush from Real Techniques. And I'm going to use that same brush to set the concealer with the Maybelline powder in the shade 360. To contour her face, I'm using my Black Opal Foundation Stick in the shade Ebony Brown. And I'm using my 401 Real Technique brush to blend it out. To set 
the contoured areas i'm going to use my black radiance true complexion contour palette and i'm using the lightest contour shade well i'm using the sculpt shade to set her contour and this is the dark to deep palette nose though i'm going to use a tapered blending brush from sonia casio again and i'm using the same shade from my black radiance to do so and to set her entire face i'm going to use my morphe continuous setting spray I'm using a tapered powder brush just to push in the setting spray and then I'm going to go in again with another setting spray from Scandinavia which is the finishing spray and it is the oil controlling one and then I'm going to go over again with my brush I already lined her lips off camera and then now I am going to use my Remo London Stay Glossy Lip Gloss. And I don't know what shade this is. finish up her eyes i'm going to go in with the warrior palette and i'm going to use the shade more me and i'm going to put that in the inner duct of her eyes and this will be it for her makeup look i hope you guys enjoy this video don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it bye guys This is a final look guys i'm so in love and it's good it's natural you know so you can check my girl out you can follow her on instagram at icon exams and you can book your appointments okay so follow Toodle! can you see guys my face is beat uh, yep beat 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 Go follow my girl, guys. Once again, IG Iconic Sam. Toodles! Catch you!